In this video, we will learn how we can create a new page and how that page we can assign to the menu bar. As you can see here, the home page, all product and contact. So similarly, if you create another page, it could be, let's say, about page. Then after you creating that about page, how you can assign that page in that primary menu. To do that, first of all, we need to log in to our admin panel. And in your case, you need to log in to your website admin panel. So here I am in the admin area. Simply go to page design and then add new page. Then here it says the page title. Just simply write the page title and then scroll down and click on update. Now this page has been created but there is no any content so far. So to adding the content, we need to use the builder module. About builder module, if you do not know how to use builder module, then I would suggest first you learn how to use the builder module and that video you get on GetShop Today main website and then go to tutorial page. I can show you here. And when you are in this page, then you can see the tutorial. And on the tutorial, chapter 1. And then here you can see the video number 5, which is page design, Get Shop Today Builder, part 1. And also watch the part 2. Then these two video, especially for the design and how to use builder module. So now let's go back to the admin area and we complete the process. So here I am and now simply I click on add column and then I can choose any of the column it depending on your design choice. In this particular demonstration, I'm choosing two by three, one by three. So I click on it and then here I can see that there is a two module option that I can add two different module, add module, then go to text and then simply I write the text. And then I just select it, Control A, which is all select. If you are using Mac, then it would be Command A. After I select, simply I go to font size and I choose to, let's say 34. And then I make it bold. And also as my theme is a red color, so I would like to make this about is red. So here you can see text color, just choose the text color and then simply click on save. Now we need to add another text module. Here we can see the add module, click on add module, then choose text. And here I would like to add some demo content, which I can get from here. Let's say copy the text then go back and then control V or if you are using Mac then use command V. So I would like to use the same text for two time and then control A which is all select and then again I will choose to the front size 12 and then here I would make it justify. Then scroll down a bit and then click on save button. We are done. Now click on update. So let's see how this page is looks like. So click on the view button and here we can see that we created that about page. Now we need to assign this page into the primary menu. To do that, again, we have to go back to admin page and now simply navigate to page design and then all page. And then here you can see that about page we created right hand side you can see the blue color button which is says show in primary menu if you click on it now we active that button but it doesn't mean that this page is going to immediately showing on the menu bar this is just the first step now we need to go to the content management and then go to menu setting and then here you can see the blue color icon click on it the menu link setting then here click on inactive menus. Now here you can see that new page we created which is the about us. 
simply click on the inactive button once you click on it that inactive will turn into active if i click on it activated and it bring that menu under the active menu area so now if we go to the about page and just simply refresh then we can see here home all products about us and contact so now you may think that if you want to serial that first would be the home then about us and then all product then how we can do that again we go back to the admin area and here you can see the about page if you just click on your left button of the mouse then hold and then drag and then drop it on top of the all product then if you go back to the front end and just refresh the page then you can see that it shows home then about then all product so this is how you can create a page and you can assign that page into the primary menu thanks for watching